Good morning, everybody. Um, I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in ages, even though I'm on line with you guys during the quilt along every um, week. It just feels like it's been a little crazy. Um, hold on, I just wanna shut the volume off on my phone so I don't get interrupted. Okay, well. I got all kinds of stuff to show you. I know you can see this side, but you can't see this side, which is even more. So we got a lot to get through and a um, short amount of time because I'm in row by row craziness. First off, today is Stitch and Bitch Day. So you know what that means. Yep, you guessed it. Come and sit and sew with me. You stitch, I bitch. I know, not a good word, but that's what it's called. What can I say? Okay, row by row. I'm super excited. I tweaked it a little bit more. I just have to do some, you know, detail work and um, the quilting, but check it out. We've got, of course, the shuttle. We've got the palm tree, which everybody loves for some reason. This year, um, I, as long, I am doing uh, the pre-cut, pre-fused applique kits plus the embroidery version, but I'm also giving you the opportunity this year, if you take a close look, see the word beach? That's going to be heat transfer vinyl that I've already cut for you. So if you've never worked with heat transfer vinyl, I'm going to give you the chance to work with it on my row by row. Something different um but there was no way i mean em embroidery won't have the heat transfer vial this will only be on the applique embroidery it will be embroidered words but there was no way i could cut the letters out in regular fabric and it, it, it would it just wasn't working right so i decided to do it in vinyl and you guys will have the opportunity to try something new see isn't that cool I thought it was cool. You may not think it's cool, but I think it's cool. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, Row by Row Juniors, again, we're doing it this year. Haven't quite got all my fabric down for the kits yet, but these are all individual rows that the kids will be able to pick up and it will make one full size quilt, which I think is really, really cool for the kids this year. So, I'm going to have individual kits, but I'm also going to have a full kit at a discounted price with everything that they need to do a full quilt. It ends up being, when it's a finished quilt, it ends up being about 42 by 52. So I thought it's cute. They're like, they're called Yum Monsters. And I posted it before, but there's a whole write-up on where they come from and how the, the monsters came about. But um, they're really cute. All of the rows are um, 12 and a half by 27 and a half. So good morning, Kathy. They're going to be really cute. I think they're adorable. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of pre-cut stars that they can pick from themselves. Um, we're gonna have all kinds of fun stuff with this. So I think it'll be fun um, What else? Oh, we have applique sheets back in stock These are the Teflon. These are really good size. They're 16 inches by 24 inches So they don't last very long in here um, Because I'm I only sell them for $3.99, but they're really good sheets So if you were not looking for it Now's your chance because they just came back in stock. I've got about two dozen in stock. Um, what else? Oh, edge to edge. For those of you that have embroidery machines, you're very familiar with edge to edge, you know, quilting on your embroidery machine. Free motion quilting, but it's not free motion. Amelia Scott came up with a brand new book that's more custom embroidery quilting um i got it before she even went to market last week in kansas so what i'm going to be doing i'm just waiting for her to send me the paperwork is i'm um, besides the edge to edge class i'm going to be teaching this more custom class so there's a whole paperwork as far as her um criteria and curriculum and 
everything. So as soon as that comes in, it's probably going to be starting in the June schedule. So if you haven't picked up your book, now's your chance. Don't forget, this week we have our Memorial Day sale. Um, everything is 10% off and clearance, which I've added to, is 30% off. I'm trying to make room for some of this stuff. Hi, Linda. I bet you the weather in Pennsylvania is beautiful. Um, so if you want to get it, now's the time to get it while it's on sale. Uh, the book is $40, comes with tons of quilt motifs. And these are going to be custom. So I'm going to teach you how to hoop, get how, where to, how to get the design exactly where you want it on your quilt. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to do a table runner. This might be a little bit more. Good morning, Antoinette. Delaware, holy banole. Is everybody someplace else but me? Um, I'm thinking that we're going to do a table runner. 57, eesh. Um, I think we're going to do a table runner in this class. So this is going to be a little bit more detailed because we're going to make one of her projects and then quilt it. Um, I'm thinking maybe something like this table runner. So not too long. We're probably looking at maybe a three-day class to get it all done. Um, but I think you'll enjoy it. This is kind of how I quilt on my big 15 needle machine. Um, so I do this a lot and I'm really happy that she came up with designs specifically for this. Yes, Antoinette, the class will be available on Saturdays, I believe. I have to look at the schedule. Um, probably in the mornings. Um, you know, where we do one Saturday, we cut out all the, the fabric for the table runner, you go home, maybe we can do it in two Saturdays, if you go home and do the homework as far as putting the top together for the um, table runner. Good morning, Donna. And then come back with your table runner top and then we'll quilt it. I think it's going to be fun. I think this is going to open up a whole new world for you. I have, I believe, six either five or six books left in stock because they've been selling. So um, if you want it, now's the time to get it, especially with everything on sale. Um, okay, let me put my row away. And for those who didn't see it again, we'll show it one more time before I put it away. I did some more tweaking. I know it may not look like it, but. So of course we're gonna have the shuttle and the palm tree. And we got a picnic on the beach. This year's theme is taste. So I'm calling my row uh, launch picnic. I think it's very appropriate. The palm tree was very popular a few years ago when I did it in my row. So I figured I would bring it back this year. Um, okay, before we get to Oceana, thank you, Antoinette. I'm gonna go to, yes, I know it's only May, but I'm already getting stock in for Christmas. So it's only snowflakes so far, but I'll show you. It's really pretty. First, we've got Benetex. We've got two different fabrics that are metallic, gold metallics, one in black, one in white. Check them out. See all the pretty gold? Maybe I should turn this one around. Hey, all of this is gold metallic. Thanks, Wendy. I figure you were in Florida. We have to have the beach. I mean, that's just the beach and a rocket or the shuttle. That's like a prerequisite. You, you have to. Okay, the next snowflakes that I have are from Quilting Treasures. Aren't they pretty? I know. I like them. That's my problem. I get myself in a lot of trouble because I like it all. Okay, so we've got, these I would consider like a basic, white on gray, white on cream, and white on white snowflakes. Ooh, except for the thread. You see those? 
Uh, Antoinette, Row by Row does not start until June 20th, I want to say. Um, so you can't purchase it until then. You have to come in the store. On that day, as usual, I will be open at 7 a.m. with donuts and coffee. You'll have to come in from the back entrance because the mall, it's kind of touch and go. If It's usually the door, we have walkers here at 7, but it's not always open right at 7. But you can come in that day bright and early before work. That's why I open up early. Um, and any time up until... Um, the end of September or anytime after that you can pick it up in the store after November 1st then I can actually sell them online I will what I do is I do orders um, so I put it online for a pre-order and when you pre-order it I take it out of stock right away I can't physically mail them until November 1st but at least that way you'll be guaranteed to get yours because I will tell you right now I'm not going to have as many kits as I normally do um, the reason for that is Northcott um, Artisan Sandscape which is what I use here in the water and the palm tree um, and the trunk that's been discontinued for over a year now I have scrounged through what I have as far as what bolts because when it got discontinued a lot of that went into my stash and um, what I have left is enough to possibly make approximately 200 kits once they're done because I really haven't found you know this is the fabric that I've been using for years now on my row by row I like it it's very tasteful and I haven't really since last year found anything to take its place um, that's comparable with the gold metallic that you know isn't um, in your face water so I don't know unless I come up with another fabric that I can substitute that I'm happy with um, I'm not sure I'm gonna have more than the 200 and that's normally what I start with on day one so this year it's gonna be kind of a different year for me for row by row and anybody who wants them um, I highly suggest you either pre-order once I put it up on the website or get in here quickly because it goes fast I mean really fast but you know previously I'd been able to make rows throughout the, the summer but this year unless I can find a fabric that I like I don't know if it's gonna happen I don't know what I'm gonna do next year if we have row by row but we'll have to see okay back to fabric so we have white on gray snowflakes we have white on cream snowflakes so hopefully you can see that yeah there you go isn't that pretty they're dainty snowflakes the snowflakes are maybe about an inch maybe a little bit more than an inch in diameter and then we've got white on white snowflakes isn't that pretty and finally we've had this curly Q in before um, but I've never had it in this color scheme so this is white on cream it's one of my basics we sell a lot of it I have it in black um, I might have it in gray I have it in white now I have it in cream it's a really good quilting treasures basic that everybody likes okay Oceana now some preemptive this fabric comes in 10 yard bolts so it's only 10 yards and some of it is already gone even before I got it in I had orders um it's gorgeous that's all I can say I have oh goodness gracious you know me I forgot something be right back you should go pibble
swear to God, I would forget my head if it wasn't attached. It wouldn't be a normal video if I didn't forget something. Um, Oceana. Okay, 10 yard bolts. I really like it a lot. It has the look of a batik without being a batik. They're all digitally printed and the fabric is really soft and silky. I've got one free pattern, which includes a table runner and the quilt. So here's the table runner and here's the quilt. And then I have one purchase pattern for the quilt. Isn't that kind of cool? Doesn't it look like you've got waves or sands going um, squiggly down? And that's just half square triangles and different triangles and wedges to kind of give you that shape. Okay, so without further ado, we've got coral in the teal. Now, doesn't that got the look of a batik? It's really pretty. I've been petting it all morning because it's soft. We've got turtles in this kind of multicolored background. Okay. It really does have the look of a batik. We've got turtles in the teal. Where the turtle's a little bit harder to see, but they're there. We've got seahorses. I really like them. I just think it's cool. Like I said, I get myself in trouble because I like everything. Now we've got a couple of what they for um, what they would con what you would consider their solids or blenders. We've got this multicolored. We've got a light teal. It's got white, it's got all kinds of colors. It's definitely got a lot of good texture to it. And we've got a dark teal. And we've got a blue. It's got a lot of movement. And then we have water and teal. It could be water, it could be wind, but because this is the Oceana line, and it's definitely water, but I could see this as like a wind from a windstorm, or if you were doing, you know, a landscape, these would be great. And then we've got more coral in a darker blue teal background. And the final one I have is seashells and starfish on a blue background. All kinds of shells. I mean, there's a lot of different shells on here. And that's what I have for you today. Does anybody have any other questions? Okay, don't forget, today is Stitch and Bitch Day. We have our Memorial Day sale all week. 10% um, off of everything and 30% off of clearance. I have to make room for fabric. I'm getting too much. This is by, Linda, this is by Quilting Treasures and it's called Oceana. It's, I've been waiting for it for over a year. I got a sneak peek of it probably over a year ago. Um, and it's by Dan Morris. And it has the look of a batik without being a batik. It's all cotton. Isn't it pretty? Anybody else? Oh, my pleasure, Linda, anytime. Anybody have anything else they need or question? Stitch and bitch day today, come sit and sew with us. I always have coffee, tea, and water available to anybody who comes. I never know how many people are gonna show up or who's gonna show up or when they're gonna show up, but it's usually a good time. If you need some help with something, it's a perfect opportunity. Bring whatever you're working on. I don't care if it's hand, machine, whatever, and just come and sit and sew. We usually have a lot of laughs and fun. And yes, I still have my Easter eggs up. I've just been too busy. I have almost 150 kits for row by row in different stages of completion back there. It's just been crazy. See Kathy what?
anyway that's what I have so the only problem you might have with stitch and bitch today uh, see in the morning Kathy is I might put you to work on row by row who knows I might you know wrangle some people into putting some kits together <laughs> all right that's all I have for today I hope you have a wonderful day and if I don't see you before Memorial Day have a lovely weekend and um, enjoy the holiday or at least try to enjoy the holiday see you guys later bye <laughs>